Alright, this is my first fly tying video, and it's for a hopper pattern. I just got back from Great Falls, Montana, and I was fishing on a spring creek outside of the city and had a lot of success with this one. It's really a variation, um, my own variation of Morish's hopper, which I haven't seen a video of yet on YouTube, so I thought I'd show you guys how to tie this one because it works really well. I'm tying this on a TMC 2312 size 10 and I'm using a Danville 100 yards flat waxed nylon here. <clears throat> I like this thread, it's the first time I've used it. I'm not a, a uh, veteran fly tire by any means, I'm just starting out but this one works well. I heard that the, the, this stuff works good because it's flat on the hook, uh, which helps because it won't cut into your foam when you're tying with it. So take a thread base here to about halfway down, then apply the foam body. Now these foam bodies are made, I make a whole bunch of different colors here of uh, foam. You can see these little pads, and then you just cut a wedge, a little strip for yourself about that big, and then trim it down. So you have this nice little thing here. Um, take your scissors, and I don't know if you can see this, but trim all the hard edges away, and it rounds it out and makes it look really nice. And then I make a little slit through the middle there, and that helps it to sit onto the hook more. Somebody put some great instructions for how to tie this uh, on a web page but I just haven't seen it uh, on YouTube yet, so here's a video in case you guys want to see it. So just three turns on there. Uh, you can always go back in the end and put a dot of super glue on the bottom or a nice little base of it, whatever, so you can make it really durable. But when I'm tying just for flies that I'm going to be fishing with, I, I don't care if they fall apart because if they do, then I can just use that hook and tie another fly in. Since I like to tie and I'm always getting better and hooks can be kind of expensive, uh, every busted fly is a chance to tie a better new one. So to, for the legs on this, which is what's next, um, I take these rubber, you can use round rubber or flat rubber. These are black barred with gold flex and tie a knot right there. And um, I take the knot probably about just before the very back of your body and that seems to be about the right size. And a soft wrap first on that. That'll help you get that into place. Ooh, -ah. and then trim trimony on that. Get another knot. You can do this much faster if you uh, tie these knots beforehand, sit down and do that, which I probably should have for speed. But instead, you have to watch me tie rubber into knots. There's another one. So I'll go back at the end and I'll trim the back half of these. They're double, and then the, you only want them to be single. Um, it just looks better. So two, two wraps is all I want to do. You don't want to build up too much too much thread on this fly because um, it's obviously a dry so you want it to float take down one of these, whichever one you like more there you can see that leg is looking mighty fine then you should only have to use two total strips if you're conservative with tying your knots I can save this waste material and use those for the next next piece. Um, I'm going to use a green back to this one. You can really use whatever color you want or I guess not put one on there at all but it, I use a bright color just so it helps you to see it in the water a little bit more and the, the fish can't see this on the top so uh, it's not a big deal. So there's two wraps. Okay, you're done with the back half of this fly now, and then you pull back the flap that you have remaining, do a soft wrap 
here and the second one you want to cinch down on that thing one more and then over the green two should be enough you're going to do more more wraps on that when you attach the legs okay so take your spare your spare pieces tie them in a knot again you don't have to tie these in knots to put them on here. I have just found that it really makes the profile of the fly look a lot better. And for not that much more work, just to tie a quick little knot is um, definitely worth it. So I do this for all of my flies. I do it for my stonefly patterns. I'll take turkey biots and tie them in knots because I found that that is the best looking um, way for stonefly legs and also for hopper legs, go figure. So make these legs a little bit smaller. You're attaching them right where you brought your thread to that forward position. And then the, the excess rubber on this is gonna be the front set of legs. So two wraps on that. And then pull back the head of the fly Give yourself a couple wraps underneath, and at this point you're almost done. You just need to <clears throat> tie off a knot and make an eye, trim our legs. So you can whip finish. I use a half hitch because it's easier. You can whip finish at the section that you just put the legs on to if you want. I just do it here. I don't want to go to this thing. I'm making a video on fly tying, so hold on a second. I don't want to have to do it over, and I'm at the very end. <laughs> Gotta love patient girlfriends. Alright, dot. Dot. There's your eyes, and your fly's done. Trim those legs. There it is. That's the completed, you can call it Bill's Hopper for now. Um, really durable. Fish as well, easy to tie. And best of all, no animals were harmed in the making of this fly. All foam and rubber. You don't have to trim it like this. I just choose to do it because it makes a little more of a profiled look. There it is. Good luck.